Hello my dear children how are you doing today I hope you all are fit and fine and enjoying your online studies and today in this video we are going to read and watch as well another story which is about selfless love of mother okay so we know that our parents they do work hard for us right from the childhood to adulthood okay they take care of us but what do we give back to them that is the main question so let's find out in the story what is the sacrifice of the mother and how the child wanted to repay it to mother okay so let's begin with the story and i hope after listening to it you will have due respect to your mother let's begin the title of the story is mother's love in my heart by rumi singh whenever i am resting and stroke my legs i think of my mother and past events reappear before my eyes it was one morning in 1975 when i was 6 years old i was hit by a bus as i crossed the street I lost consciousness immediately when I came to my senses it was already the morning of the next day I felt great pain in my legs and half asleep I was I heard someone crying I struggled to open my eyes to find out who was crying and saw it which was none other than my mother she was sitting beside the bed and crying sorrowfully with a handkerchief covering her mouth her eyes were red and swollen and there were black rings around them tears were still on her face anxiety had made her very haggard overnight mother stroked my head and called rami in a low voice tears again rolling down her face later a boy in the next bed told me that mother had stayed beside my bed that whole night weeping all the time though i didn't die from the accident I had got a fracture in both legs and I became disabled. When I went home from the hospital the bones in my thigh had still not grown well and my legs were still in plaster casts. The whole family was concerned about me mother in particular. During the 4 years I had to stay in bed. Mother gave up her job and took care of me day in and day out. Every day apart from the household chores, she brought me food and drink and carried the bedpan for me, and I felt very sorry. But she never blamed me. When I was suffering from pain, she would sit quietly beside me and told me stories that i was most fond of such as shaktiman nagraj super commando dhruv parmanu etc hero shaktiman was my favorite mother knew a great many stories and when i heard them i would not feel so much pain in my leg in 1977 i went to the hospital again on a cool bright sunday father mother and my three brothers all came to see me we talked and laughed when dr sharma came in and asked father and mother to go with him to the director's office my brothers and i looked at each other 
puzzled and the ward seemed very quiet all at once after quite a time father and mother returned with heavy footsteps father's smile had disappeared and his brows knitted mother seemed calm and sat beside me we asked father in one voice dad what has happened dr sharma said the bones in rumi's legs aren't likely to grow well he replied my heart sank my eldest brother asked isn't there anything that can be done yes there is one way out my father said i felt happy again and we asked all together what is it then father glanced at me and said slowly they can take half of the hip bone from a member of our family and transplant it in rumi's legs we are all struck dumb by the idea father continued your mother decided to give half of her hip bone hardly had he finished when my three brothers threw themselves on mother and burst into tears father turned to the window and wiped his eyes i crawled near mother with tears in my eyes and said mummy i won't let you do that for me she held me with one arm and controlling her tears said to me very tenderly my dear child don't say that any more it's nothing for mummy to die if that can save your life i cried out loudly and the and the parents of the sick boy in the next bed were also shedding tears on the day of the operation mother and i were pushed into the operating room together mother encouraged me rumi don't be nervous and don't worry about me i promised her that i would not but when i heard the sound of the electric saw i suffered terribly as as if the saw was cutting my heart and the tears ran silently down my face the operation failed because the quality of the bones didn't match each other but mother's love has been delibly engraved on my heart so children this was the story here what do we see is that our mother is the only one who loves us without any selfish motive there might be people who are there around us but it is mother who will be there in our ups and downs without any motive without any thing in return therefore we should take care of our mother because their happiness for us their tears for us are sincere their sacred love should not be going in vain at all we should respect their sacrifices when we were very young we did not know how much pain she had taken to raise us right from our birth till nurturing us to adulthood she accepts all the pains all the achings but what do we give her in return pain again disrespectful words scolding scolding that there is a huge generation gap scolding that she would not understand about the technology scolding her by saying that she cannot match the mental level of younger generation younger generation is far ahead than older generation but children don't forget that it is mother and father who has taken utmost care when we were young because of their 
careful handling we are safe and sound even if we are grown up now but their love is eternal their love for us will never go in vain they never want anything in return what do they want they just want love and little bit of care from us so let's provide the same to our parents and let's give due respect to the love that they shower upon us so now onwards i request children you all to respect the elders who are there for you selflessly who are there beside you supporting in your ups and downs which happens in our life we should never forget them we should never forget their sacrifices otherwise we will regret in later life so by this i'll end my story i hope you were able to imbibe some of the moral values i'll be back in my next video till then take care and keep revising keep learning keep listening to my stories thank you children take care and bye bye